Okay, I'm apparently supposed to tweet something, so let me, uh... Let's go F3, King, F2. Let's just, um, let's trade some pieces. Let's play like D4. Let's play A3 and Rook A3. But yeah, like I love, I mean, Go is a great game. I wish I was, I wish I was better at Go. And that documentary I actually watched the other day on uh, Alpha Go was amazing as well. Okay, I'll take the knight. Lisa Dahl is amazing too. This one ninety two. To lose at this elo would require me actually like losing on time, probably. Name of the doc, I think it's just called Alpha Go. It's on it's free on YouTube now. Not not CSGO. We're talking about Go, the uh the game with stones. Yeah, it's, you're right. It's all. It is also on Netflix. This is true. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's just take and take. Uh, I did not ask if we were better at Go. I asked if, if if Go is better than chess. Like, I would I would argue that in a sense it is because theory is like the problem with modern day chess, in my opinion, is that there's too much theory now. Chess is not. It's not a game of pure skill in the way that it used to be. Like, it, you know, if you go back maybe 25, 30 years. I mean, Gary started to refine the process of, uh, of preparation, but without until computers came along, there still was a lot of there was a lot more scope for pure pure talent, pure intuition. And Go is just like you know basic setups, but you never reach the same setup at the same time. It's like saying it'd be like saying playing chess and on move five, you're in something that you'll never see. Um, so yeah, I think I mean I think Go is like a lot harder than chess. It's, there's a lot more intuition, a lot more pure skill. So. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would say, in my opinion, Go is a much, much better game because the skill level of those guys at the top is just like out of this world. Learning a Joseki, losing two stones, yeah, to gain four, yes, yes. Like chess is, chess is a mix. You have to have intuition, you have to be very strong, but you also have to put in a lot of time preparing now. Um, so it's, it's, it's a mix of everything, but uh, but yeah, I, I would, I, I mean, Computers have very much mastered chess. Like they can still play Go better than any human, but you can't translate the best the way they play into like a, into a manual. Like the first move in Go is just can be something completely random. You put it on you know on one of the bottom sides of the board up near the top, like in one of the four quadrants. So like, oh, and I just gave him stalemate. Oh my gosh. Wait, no, did I? He missed it. Oh my gosh. Was Rook D1 a draw? Because it's stalemate. His king is trapped. His king is completely boxed here. Is Rook D1 a draw? Rook D1, King C2, Rook B1, King B3, Rook C3, King B4, Rook B3, King A5, Rook A3 here. Check. No, it's not a draw because I can put the king on C7, I guess, and cut the cut the, cut the the uh, seventh rank off. So it's not quite a draw, but almost. He should have seen it, though. Thank you to Mishy9001 for the three months. No, rook c4 never works because I take and then the knight doesn't cover g6. That's the problem. He should have seen it. I mean, yeah, okay, let's just checkmate, by the way. Look at these knights. Um, okay, let's do a traditional ball on cloud here. Play G6. I guess I'll go King G7. No, I just bishop G7. Thank you to Sub F for the sub months. Favorite streamer. Thank you, Sub F, for the resub. Much appreciated. Actually, Sub F, I wonder if Sub F is somebody I played online against many, many years ago. I remember there's somebody who used to have that username on. I think on ICC, maybe. 
If sub F is in the chat, I wonder if you could tell me. Because there was somebody that I played against years ago. No, it wasn't you, sub F. There was somebody I played against years ago. It was like 2,500 at Blitz or maybe even higher. Let's go 9A6. Okay, this guy's playing well. Let's play E5. Let's take... Let's go C6. Cut the squares for the knight. Let's go bishop E6. Hit the pawn. No B4s anymore. Queen E8, Queen F7 probably. Rating goal. We don't have a goal set. Uh, well, we do for long-term 3,000, but I'm not going to be streaming the whole thing today because obviously this it would take too long. So... We're at 134. I intend to play until about four hours. So that, that's my intention for right now. Someone asked, someone was asking me about Boeing earlier. I mean, Boeing is such a tough one to predict what's gonna happen. I have no idea what's gonna happen to Boeing, but I, I, I don't know. It feels like if they don't get bailed out, I think Boeing is actually gonna go bankrupt, which is like utterly insane to even think about. But, um, but yeah, I, I don't know about Boeing. It's, I mean, it's hard to believe such a iconic American company like Boeing could go bankrupt. But I think, but I think it is, it is entirely within the realm of possibility. They are too big to fail. I mean, it's Boeing. They're, I mean, Boeing is America. What can you say? I can play e4, I can also just take and then e4 to fork. This is just a nice little fork here. Airbus gets a monopoly of Boeing fells. Well, hey, I mean, here in America, we, we can't allow the Frenchies to like get a monopoly. Like, oh no, that's not acceptable. Let's take and play rook d8 or bishop c5. I'm gonna play rook d8 here. Um, queen b6, I think just bishop a3. I've got bishop d6 here. Let's just trade on g3 next move. Just take and play knight c5. So knight d3, knight e5. Next move, hit the queen, hit the pawn, and f3. Am I aware of Wall Street Bets uh, subreddit? Yeah, yeah, I am aware of it. I mean, I've seen articles on it. I don't actually pay attention to it. I think it went private recently. You can't just you can't just jump in there. Um, but yeah. I, hey, Icar, I asked you a few days ago if I should reinvest in the stock market. You told me to wait until the market was down 10 to 15% more is now the time I'm tempted to shove. I mean, I wouldn't say all, go all in right now because I'm not convinced we're done, but I think we're very close to the bottom. So let's just take and go. Uh... I miss the old, I'm just going to mark this as a win. <laughs> Good one. I'm checkmating here on both squares. The knight's just a dominating piece here. Oh, they went private for like an hour and then did a U-turn. Okay, fair enough. Play D4. Am I gonna mark my Tesla bet as a win? No, of course not. I mean, I think it'll be a win, but but yeah, we've got a ways to go. Cause it's very, if we sell off, it could go down too. But I, I just, I don't see it happening. I think we're, I think we're, I think we're near the bottom. We're very close to the bottom. I remember people saying that two weeks ago. I did not say that, actually. I've actually been consistent. Like, the problem was the whole thing got, got messed up in the timing because we were down 10%. And I, I thought we had two more pumps to go. But then on Friday, Trump, with his, his you know speech, sent us back up 10%, which messed up the trajectory. So um, so I I'm, I think we're on track. I think, I think this we're close to the bottom. Oh, bomb. Oh. See, I wasted my life playing chess, so I uh, so I forgot. Okay, okay, sack a piece. Okay, there. I'll sack a piece. I'll sack a piece. There we go. Well, it wasn't a was it a speech or press conference? I don't know, but anyway, one piece should be enough, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll, I'll remember. I'll, I'll remember uh, next game. Queen H5. I'm gonna actually sack everything, and I this this probably might not work at all. Yeah, let's take this. Might not work actually. I might not. This might not work. I'm down what three pieces now. I'm gonna be down three pieces.
This actually doesn't work, I don't think, but... Draw, I'm not gonna take a draw, but I'm down three pieces here. So I'm actually not in good shape. Oh shoot, he's got Rufus. Wow. This is gross. I'm actually losing here. I'm actually completely lost here. If he finds the next move, I'm completely lost, but I don't know. Okay, so now it's going to require me moving fast. Knight f8 is a very good move. I'm shocked that he found it. I'm going to have to flag him probably. Yeah, I'm going to have to flag this guy. That's because I'm actually just dead loss. I'm down three pieces. I didn't play the bond cloud, so I'm losing. Yes, that's a good one too. What? I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. I mean, I think we can mark this as a win. This is definitely a win. Okay, let's go again. Okay, that was weird, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say about that last game. That was just too weird. Let's play. Oh my gosh, I just blundered. Oh, geez, I just blundered, actually. I just blundered. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to be careful now. So bishop f5. Knight e7, maybe bishop h7, knight f5 next move. I think I can take. Oh no, he's got queen h4. He missed it. Queen h4 is actually winning a piece, but he went h2. I guess king h7, guard the knight. Honestly, you playing the cloud without really paying attention is making for excellent entertainment. Thank you to Bam Deasy. Thank you. Very nice comment. Uh, let's play knight c5. 2300 Corona cases in New York. Yeah, I mean, it's everywhere at this point. I don't know why it's so much worse in New York than everywhere else. That's what I don't understand. Because like, even if you look at Washington or Cal Washington or California, it's just a flu. Like for the last time, it's not a flu. Seriously, it's not funny. Like everyone's just laughing it off. Like it's, it's just a flu. The problem is, is that it's, it's not about people actually dying. The problem is that if it gets out there, too many people are going to get it. Everyone's going to have to go to the hospital at the same time. And a lot of people are going to die who don't need to die because you can't treat everyone. That's the bottom line. Like, it's not just a flu. Like, seriously. I'm going to play queen g6 here. Play rook e7. I'm actually not doing well here. I guess I'm okay after King G8. Let's 
Just take with the bishop. I had queen b1 maybe as well. Maybe queen b1 is better, but it still seems fine. Let's go king f7. Okay, let's make a check. Hit the king, hit the rook. I also have bishop e3. I think I'll play bishop e3. Uh, thank you to Nuha Retrieve for the 12 months. Thank you so much. I know I'm, I'm, I'm 22 and I never, let's see if I can check him. And I never played, uh, I never played a look at chess until I started watching. You started playing rated chess last month. Thanks for the entertainment. That is fantastic to hear. Very, very, very nice. Hope, uh, hope you don't get discouraged if you do badly in tournaments at the start. Um, cause it's, it's very hard when you first start cause you're playing as people who are just much better than you. So, um, just keep at it if, if it, if it goes badly in the first couple tournaments. Um, I would say, though, if you really don't like the competitive aspect, don't feel like an urge to keep forcing yourself to play in tournaments. Let's play Bishop B4. I guess 97, rook F8, King G8 looks fine. Why is Naka's profile picture a black guy? First of all, it's not any old, any, any old black guy. Um, <laughs> um, it's, um, it's, it's, I mean, they're, they're two, they're two uh, African-Americans who I would say are um, 32. Are we at 32 wins? There are two African-Americans I would say who are, um, it's African-American first of all. And they're, they're two guys who I would post a picture of. Um, like one of them would be this dude, also known as Snoop. Um, the other, the other one would of course be the, uh, the former president of the United States, who I am also a big fan of. So one of those two guys, it's not MC hammer. Oh, I forgot about Sammy. Yeah. I forgot about Sammy Jackson. Yeah. Sammy. I forgot about Sammy. Would I buy oil? I don't know. I don't know. It'd be funny. It was a photo of Martha Stewart. <laughs> yeah. Am I a fan of Louis? Oh, I love Louis Armstrong, the musician. Great guy, but I mean, I have to be a, I have to be like, not a boomer. I have to be what, Generation Z? Or what is it? I would have to be like 60 to even have any idea really who he is. Like, Louis died, when did he die? I mean, like in the, did he die in the 50s? Or was it even, was it later than that? He died in 71, okay. It was, it was after the 50s, okay. But he was active in the 50s, right, okay. But yeah, I mean, that's like, yeah. Fantastic though, great, great, great jazz musician. One of the greatest of all time, for sure. Play Rook F3 and takes and takes. I would just be like 60 to even know who he is. I mean, unless you're in music, I don't know. Louis Armstrong, I mean, he's that's like way back in time though. Cause he's like, that's from like the jazz era. That's like 30s, 40s, 50s. Like that's a long time ago. Like that's not recent at all. But I mean, I would know of him anyway because I played the trumpet. So like there's that too. That's, that's why I can cheat and not be 60 and know who he is. Um, Am I Generation Z or the tail end of X? I mean, I'm, I think technically I'm a millennial, which absolutely, once again, part of my English, I'm a millennial, which sucks ass, but I am. Um, let's play F6, King F7. Um, so I'm technically a millennial. I don't, I don't relate to millennials at all, honestly. I think I was born at the wrong time, um, uh, but, it, but it is what it is. Let's uh, go G6, King G7. I'm blurry again. Did my did my camera start smoking pot? Um, okay, let's so Bishop B six. I mean, I feel like I feel like I relate to the people who are like fifty ish, forty, fifty ish, much more honestly. That's what I would say. Like fifty ish, probably around. I don't know what generation that is. What gener is that? Is that is that Boomer? I don't know. What, what's that generation? I don't know. Let's see. Generation Z is what? Oh no. Generation Z. Ah, Generation Z is post. Uh, oh, Generation Z is after millennials. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So Gen X, yeah, Gen X, okay. That's that I definitely relate to Gen X much more. Definitely. Uh let's go King F7 here. Let's play rook d8, bishop g7, knight f5 next move. Play knight d5. Do I plan on running for Congress? No. I mean, I I, I mean, what what's the point, honestly, of, of getting into politics these days? It feels like the reason you get into politics is not to help people anymore. It's just to, like, make money and, you know, have power, which, honestly, just, like, is not very appealing. So let's just go bishop e7, rook e8. If rook d1, I'm just going to take, obviously. And that's just checkmate. <laughs> just checkmate. Spoken like someone not in politics? Is that a joke or are you being serious? Let's play knight c3. You get the ability to insider trade, which would be nice. I mean, again, like... I mean, if you're a politician... I mean, the point of being a politician... Well, what? Seriously, what? Ser seriously, what? What? I Thank you, Truck Funnel Dump, for the uh, sub. Thank you so much. Like, I mean, again, like, okay, so, like, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. Like, take, plane out of three. Like, I mean, come on. So, okay, you, you end up on one of these, like, on one of these, um, I don't know exactly what they call it. Like, is it FDA panels or... You know, one of these pharma things, and you, you, you honestly, you know what drugs are going to, like, not drugs, but you know, like, Congress can, like, say, this drug, no, we, you know, we're not going to be okay with FDA approval, you're on some panel, and then you make money off of that? I mean, that's just so crummy. That's, like, just crummy. And completely wrong as well. It's just not right. Let's play Bishop D3. I read Discord chess bay. Jeez. Let's play bishop g5 and I'll take on a6 next move. I tra actually, I trapped the queen here. Let's take the queen. Play bishop a6. Okay, let's play rookie one, hit the pawn on e6. Laugh out loud at judging politicians while doing finance and contributing nothing. Um, I would make the argument that actually I contribute a lot with the stream. Like, I, uh, do we get disconnected? I mean, I would make the argument with chess, like the number of kids, I've, I've heard a lot of anecdotes, not from kids, but from their parents, of course, but the, the number of kids who watch my videos on YouTube are, um, you know, there, there are a lot of kids who watch my videos on YouTube. So I totally am giving back to the community completely. Um, so I do take a little bit of offense at that notion that I'm not giving back at all. Um, let me get a check. Let me get a checkmate. Okay, next game. Play e 16 7 Also, frankly, you know, it's it's like it's like I'll, I'll give you another example. So it's like I make I make a lot of jokes about many different things on um on, on Twitch, and like if I ever chose to run for Congress, like I guarantee you, some of the stuff they people would just come back and hammer me on it all day long. So it's like why do you why, why would I ever want to deal with that when I can just be here and just chill and go about my life and not have to worry about any of that stuff? Let's take with the knight. Um, let's just take on F six. Like, it's sad, but it's true. Like, seriously, if I chose tomorrow, it's like, okay, I'm going to run for Congress. I guarantee you, some of the stuff I've said on Twitch would completely be used in ads to attack me. And, like, why do you ever, I mean, why do I want to deal with that? Like, I mean, why, why, I, you know, I played chess. I've been successful in my life. Why do, why, why, do I need to, why do I need to put up with that? Like, I don't. So, it's like, you know, it's the point. I'm great at repeating myself. Politics will suit you just fine. <laughs> that's a that's a good one. I like it. That's a good one. Yeah, that that's a good one. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. That's another win. Yes, that that is true. Actually, yeah. Let's go bishop g7. Hit the pawn. Play f4 and bishop d4 next move. Maybe f3 as well. 
I mean, I re there are a few reasons I repeat. Usually I repeat because people are asking the questions and I want all of chat to get it. Like if you ask a question and also I would, I would add that another reason is when the video, when I do sometimes take the content and put it on YouTube, of course, people don't have the chat either, which makes it, which makes it a little bit harder if you don't understand the context. Uh, Twitch Robert says, I disagree. You're very good at answering questions. So you wouldn't do very good in politics. <laughs> that's also a good one. I, that's a good one. That's also sad, but true. Let's just take. But yeah, in, in general, I mean, like, you know, I've, I've, I've had a good life. Why, why do I want to, why do I want to, you know, drag myself through that? Like, that's nothing but pure torture. Let's see if I can mate this guy somehow. Do I have a box mate here? I'm going to try to box him up and mate him. Uh, thank you to Soccer Kevin T for the sub with tier one. I'm going to go knight e2, knight g3, rook g2, and just checkmate him. He's getting the box short. <laughs> Play D3, play an endgame if he wants to. Play Bishop E3. Do you know what's up with Ding Liren, by the way? Seems out of character to go 0 and 2. I think actually the lack of routine, having to be quarantined and all these other things um, has affected him. I don't know Ding personally, but I do get the sense he's a very, very much like a system, system guy. He likes, like he likes things to be very much in order in terms of how he does it. So I think that affected him quite quite badly. That's my personal take on it. I could be wrong. But then again, having said that, today Fabiano gifted him. Like Fabiano gave him a, an amazing gift today. Let's just take and go King C2. Is Wang different? I don't think I don't think uh, Wang Hao had to had to go into um I don't think he had to do quarantine. I, I don't think. But I could be wrong. Let's play Rook A6. But yeah, Fabiano, like, Fabiano just gave him a gift today. He played something highly speculative, thinking that Ding was, I mean, I guess, incapable of playing a good game from start to finish, which is just, like, I mean, just utterly insane. Like, why do you do that? Like, Ding is one of the guys who's the biggest contenders. You, you know, Ding's on minus two suffering. And he played something that's, I mean, it's not even taking a chance. He just played something that flat out is bad. Um... Like, I just, I don't know. To me, it seems like if this was later in the event, I would understand it. But doing it, doing it in this early in the tournament, like, if it, if it doesn't work, like, you just, you look like a complete idiot. And I think, I mean, I, I think it was very much, very, it just, this assumption that somehow um, the ding was, uh, what was speculative about it? Well, I mean, other than the fact that it was just bad. Am I going to get the same box mate here? I'm going to get the same, a very similar box mate here. King's getting trapped in the corner again. This is pretty funny. This is what happened last game. Same mate. Same mate, but on the other other two squares. Um, let's just play this one. Play F6. Uh, thank you to XX Flameboy 9 xx for the two-month resub. Thank you so much. Stick with the night. Go King G8, maybe Bishop E7. Am I surprised how well MVL is doing? Um, I mean, he, he got lucky, he played Ding out of form. But for me, the key with Maxime is that he held the first round. Because Fabiano had, he was definitely in trouble against Fabiano. The way that he held that game was very, very important. Because that, that sort of got him off, got him stable. Um, or he was able to then, then play a nice game the second day. So it was very important that he, he, uh, he stabilized that first game. I would also add, though, he's he is quite fortunate that he gets uh, that he gets two whites to start because a lot less prep, and he starts with two whites, which also means he has a chance to stabilize before before having to deal with uh, more pressure. And yeah, MVL, of course, MVL is a great player. Is MVL going to hold with the pressure? I mean, I still don't think MVL is a favorite, but I mean, he got up to the start. He needed to have a chance to contend. He he needed to be stabilized and not lose a game at the start. Now. Today, he also, his, his order is very nice. He played Anish, who is off to a terrible start. Uh, thank you, Duda Dude, for the two months. I, I know Anish drew yesterday against uh, Wang Hao, but he was losing. So the fact that he got this order of playing these guys combined with the double whites, 
um, is like great for Maxime, which is why he ha he does have a realistic chance. Um, I still don't think he's going to win, but I think it's possible. As far as Anish goes, um, I mean, the problem with Anish is he's like, I don't know, Anish tries to joke and be funny all the time, but I think underneath it all, Anish it does, like, he does he does internalize and take it seriously when people are like, haha, you just draw every game, you're so bad. Like, I think for Anish, like, he makes the jokes about it, but I think it, he, it does actually really bother him, and so therefore, he's trying hard to, like, not make, make draws every game, and it, it just really backfired um, his game against Jan. Like, Anish always is joking about it, but, I mean, I think the joke is a facade. I think it really does bother him um, underneath it all. Just go um, bishop e4 and hit the queen. Let's play rook f8. Um, I guess I'll just go h4. He can trade queens, but it doesn't really worry me. We've got Sigmund Freud over here. Well, I'm just saying, I mean, Anish is a great guy. He's actually probably the guy that I, I can honestly relate to the most. Um, but I do, I do feel that Anish, the problem is he, like, he jokes about it, but I think he, it really does. It really does actually bother him. And that's the problem. Does anybody know why he moves the king so much earlier? Is he just messing? Because we're trying to play Le Bon Cloud today. Um, those of you who are unfamiliar with it, I suggest you open a Chrome, well, not Chrome, Edge, Chrome, whatever. You open a browser and you Google Bon Cloud chess opening. Um, you can read a nice long PDF. I think it's like three or four pages. Um, pretty, it's, which is pretty funny, but it's like three or four pages. Um, and it's like, it's a guide to how to play the Bon Cloud. Yes, Le Bon Cloud. Yes, Le Bon Cloud. The Bon Cloud is a solid, serious opening. Yes, <laughs> right. It's a very solid opening. Okay, checkmate in two. I think I'm actually going to take a break. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to take a short break and go use the restroom. Um, so take a break, maybe get some more coffee. I'm out of coffee. I need more coffee. So uh, I'm, am I going to post a link? I can post a link if you want it very quickly. Yeah, but I'm going to go use the restroom in a second. So let me just find the link. You, um, bon Cloud PDF Chess. Uh, where did I post it? I posted it in here somewhere. Where is it? There it is, okay. Um, okay, there you guys go. There's your bond cloud theory. So I'm going to go use the restroom. You guys can spend the next like three to four minutes reading up on it, and I will be back in a second. So uh, I'll be right back. 